Once again, this is the Ghetto Free Press, and I'm George Boston Ryan, and this is the KYRC, which means Know Your Rights campaign. Since we were told we can't be on the courthouse grounds to record, I'm in front of the Brooks County Courthouse, and this is the fourth day of Lula Smart trial. One of the equipment 10 plus two that were arrested December 21st, 2010. This is three years that they have been scheduled to come to court. She finally gets her day in court. Today is the fourth day. But my question to the people of South Georgia is what have you heard about this on your TV stations? What have you read about this in depth concerning this outstanding citizen here in Brooks County? What have you read in your equipment free press other than the 160 words that came out yesterday? I am here to say to you that there is something happening in our republic when people apparently does not have a right to know what is taking place in their community. I intend to show you eventually on other videos one, two, three, and four days of court information that you may not know nothing about. But today I want to talk about something, a particular lady today that took the stand, several in fact, saying that they were intimidated by the GBI when they came to their home during the investigation of the equipment 10 plus two. As I said earlier, if you go back and check my video, Pastor Benjamin and myself walked the streets here in Quitman and in Brooks County, some of the rural areas, and people say they were intimidated by a GBI agent in a white truck. Now we see now that this is not a reality. So I just want to say to you, I'm not going to publish too much, but believe me, I want to. I want you to know about, but I'm going to hold that. Y'all excuse me. I want to talk, but I don't want anybody that may have to testify tomorrow or the next day. And so I'm going to keep a lot of it. That's why I'm not talking too much. But I want you all to know that every news meet in South Georgia, ABC, NBC, CBS, the radio station, the newspaper should be here to inform the people of what's going on. This should not be a secret. The people should have a right to be interviewed as they come from the courthouse, I believe. Once again, I've said it before. I've been doing this since 1975. And it seems like to me that the citizens of the rights are being suppressed, controlled, and abated more and more. And so we had better wake up. We have sent our sons and daughters to fight on foreign battlefields to preserve the rights of others. But our rights seem to be lost in the cosmos while we sit back and do nothing. Now, we are up to approximately our 10th witness. Our 10th witness concerning equipment 10 plus 2. We will be back tomorrow. In a, in, 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 and you may think that what I'm doing over here is of, of little importance. But I will assure you that when you read the Equipment Free Press, the article that was published in the Valdosta Daily Times, the question is, are they really keeping you informed of what's taking place at this high-profile court case? I will assure you that soon and very soon, I'm going to give you the rest of the story. I'm waiting because I want to. I want to see what the other news media are going to do because this is a very hot case. And one other thing about it, this is only one of 11 more people that got to come to court and get and, and face a jury of their peers. And guess what? The ghetto free press want to be there because we want you to see just what has kept South Georgia in a state of ill repair for so long. We had better wake up here in America because we are losing our rights. The Honorable Judge Ronnie Joe Lane is presiding over this particular case of, with Lula Smart. I want to thank all of the attorneys involved that carry on our form of government. Once again, this is just the fourth day of a trial that we don't know where it's going to end, we don't know where it's going to stop. 
We had people coming today saying they would never vote again. They said they would never vote again because of what they went through with the GBI investigation and concerning this whole fiasco with equipment 10 plus two. And so we fought, we suffered, meant some died to get this right to vote. And now the way people say they were intimidated or even on the stand, let me hush. Y'all, let me stop. Bye-bye, we go.